Hi, I'm Jeff Nimoy, the cooking caveman. No, not this type of caveman, but this type of caveman. A man who cooks with ingredients only available to the caveman. It's one of the healthiest diets around. So let me show you some of the things I cook with to replace some of the unhealthier things you cook with. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own mayonnaise. Make my own mayonnaise? What will that crazy caveman think of next? Well, if you look on the ingredients of that jar of mayonnaise in your refrigerator, you'll see it's got all kinds of nasty ingredients. I mean, I don't know. I'm not in your kitchen. I'm not looking at your labels. Or so you think. But this is real easy, and you'll realize you can make your own mayonnaise at home and save some money, too. Okay, let's measure out one cup of olive oil. I like olive oil, but you don't have to use olive oil. You can use any oil. I don't use processed oil. Only oil from real ingredients like avocado oil, which has a much stronger flavor than olive oil. Ah! You always run out. Don't worry, we've got more. They're growing olives as we speak. Yes, it was the recycle bin. You're so nosy sometimes. You can also use sunflower oil, which has a very neutral taste. Olive oil will definitely have a distinct flavor and a little green color. Whereas sunflower oil, I found, has the most neutral flavor. And you'll wind up with that same mayonnaise that you're used to, the same coloring and everything. This will only have a little slight greenish tint. Okay, almost there, almost there, there. We need a half a teaspoon of mustard powder. Boom. Into a blender it goes. Okay, a little lemon juice, one tablespoon, one egg. Now, on the lowest setting possible. Blend it up. Can you hear me? Slowly. I can't hear myself think. Slowly pour the oil in because you're going to want to emulsify it. If you pour it all in at once, it'll break and it'll fall apart. Just slowly pour it in and it'll come up nice and thick. And you're done. Voila. Mayonnaise. Where's the little container I can put this in? Where's my little container? I had it. There it is. Excuse me. This is my little mayonnaise container. If you have a hand blender, you can put all of that stuff just in any kind of mixing jar. And you don't need the blender at all. You don't need to emulsify. You can put everything in at once. But I don't have one. Okay, let's take a look at this. Look at that. Mayonnaise, it's too thick. I have to, I have to spatula it out. Ah, missed it. Missed it by that much. It will be a little runnier than your normal mayonnaise, but an hour in the refrigerator and it'll firm right up. See, it's not too green in color, just a little tint. Little olive tint, if you would. I'm a little messier today because you're here. Normally, I'm a lot cleaner. I even showered for you today. What kind of caveman are you, Nimoy? Mmm, fantastic. Homemade fresh mayonnaise. Great. Before I put this in the fridge to let it settle, because you're here, I don't want to waste any time. Let's make a little tuna salad. I've already got some stuff made. A little tuna, a little bell pepper, a little celery, a little red onion, some spices. Whoop. Mm -hmm. Really good. You didn't realize how easy it was to make your own mayonnaise, did you? Well, you could make your own mayonnaise, your own ketchup. You could save a lot of money and put in all healthy ingredients. Much healthier than things that you're buying in most supermarkets. You could put this on a sandwich, eat it right from the bowl, put on some crackers. Look, I don't have to tell you how to eat tuna salad, okay? Do I have to do everything for you people? In the meantime, for more recipes about mayonnaise and information on the caveman diet in general, please visit cookingcaveman.com.